Hi you guys. So it's time to talk about my trash recently. <laughs> this whole thing is full of products I've used up and I just love doing empties videos. I love watching them. I don't know why. I think they're really fun. So I've been saving my trash for you guys and let's just dig straight in. Um, it's very random this time. So this is a container of Glossier cotton pads. Uh, I've mentioned before, I have a video coming up that's gonna be all about cotton pads and my cellar waters. I, I don't know why, but I feel really strongly about those two things. So I was eager to try these Glossier ones and they were very good, but not great. And I'll go into more detail on that when I do my cotton pads video. But look how cute the packaging is. Like, obviously I had to pick them up just for that. <laughs> but they're not like my new go-to. So, okay, this is a go-to. This is the Dry Bar Sparkling Soda Shine Mist. Is there any left? Hmm, there is a little. It's like on its last. I might try to get a few more days out of that. Um, I don't know why I'm obsessed with that product. It's like, it doesn't ever make my hair look greasy, but it does just add a little bit of shine, a little bit, it almost feels like it almost nourishes my hair. So I don't know, I reach for this constantly. It's just one of my go-tos and I really like dry bar hair products. Speaking of which, this is the dry bar Saki Balm Nourishing Conditioner. And it really was so nourishing. My hair felt so silky just while I was like rinsing the conditioner out. But that said, I wash my hair so rarely. I don't know if this is bad to say, but um, I do it like once a week. And so I tend to like gravitate towards doing a hair treatment instead of a conditioner. Since it's just once a week, I'm like, I might as well just do a hair mask while I'm in here. So I haven't restocked this conditioner. It is probably my favorite conditioner, but I'm like off of conditioner for now. Okay, this is a body lotion I really loved. This is the Palmer's brand Cocoa Butter Firming Butter. And I always get cocoa butter for my body lotion. I mean, I bounce around a lot, but I always come back to cocoa butter. It smells amazing. It smells like chocolate and it's just really hydrating. And I feel like it's more natural. That said, there's a long list of ingredients back here. And then as far as this one saying it's firming, I can't totally vouch for it, but I will say, I feel like some jiggly bits were slightly less jiggly. So I don't know. I usually don't trust products that say firming, but I was putting on the last like dose of that lotion this morning and I was like, hmm, it's actually pretty, it looks like maybe things have improved around here. I don't know. Okay, here's the coconut body butter from Trader Joe's. I've talked about this. I have a whole video on Trader Joe's beauty products because I love it. You can see this is like licked clean. <laughs> Obviously it's not really licked. I think I talk about this in every empties video. Um, this is my little beauty spatula and I use it for everything. Like I will get, see, I'm still even getting more out of this. It's kind of a sick obsession with getting every last drop. Every time I do an empties video, we talk about this. Um, <laughs> and so like, why can't I just let it go with one serving left in it? Anyway, this body butter is amazing. Check out my Trader Joe's video for more awesome stuff from there. Um, okay. Here's another Glossier product and this one I love so much. It's their soothing facial mist it has rose water let's see if there's any left mm -mm -mm. it smells so good i feel like i can get another spritz out of that see the addiction is real there's like one drop in the bottom of this anyway i love this uh speaking of like teasing upcoming videos i also gotta do a face mist video i love them i'm addicted i use them all day every day and this is one of my ultimate go-tos. Like I restocked this when I felt like it was getting down to here. Cause I was like, I cannot be without. It's just a reasonable price point. It really is soothing. It really is hydrating and it has a good, strong, like mist, you know, I don't like any wimpy face sprays. Um, here's another spray that I really like. I got another serving or so in there, but this is the Mac prep and prime fix. Plus I always end my makeup application with this. I feel like it takes away any kind of powdery look and it really helps my makeup to stay throughout the day. Um, this is a body oil I've been using, the Moroccan oil brand Shimmering Body Oil. It is a really pretty gold shimmer. There's like a little bit left so I can show you. Um, it smells good, but not overpowering. Basically I've been on the hunt. I don't know if you can see, it's really not that glittery. Yeah, it's not even showing. Um, I've been on the hunt for like a lotion with a bit of shimmer in it ever since I used the Brazilian bum bum cream. I know we're all obsessed with that lotion, but I actually don't love the way it smells. So I was like trying to find a dupe for it that would work 
and be more affordable. And I don't think this is it. I enjoyed it, but I'm not gonna restock it. The Moroccan oil shimmering body oil. I don't know. I mean, it added a nice boost, but it didn't make me feel as glittery as that Brazilian bum bum cream does. Okay, this is weird. Does anybody else do this? When my lotion gets like so low that I can't squeeze any more out, I cut it so I can like scoop it out. I told you, the addiction is real. But we all know this is my favorite hand cream ever. It's the Deborah Lipman Rich Girl Hand Cream. It has SPF. It's very hydrating. Like maybe a little, you might feel a little oily. So if you don't like that, I don't know. I love it. Um, okay, this is my favorite cleanser. It's the Tatcha Camellia Oil Cleanser. And I was so proud, sorry, it has like a dog hair on it. <laughs> I was so proud because I rationed this perfectly and I used the last serving of it the night before the Sephora sale. So if you saw my haul video, you know I restocked this post haste and I just love that cleanser. Um, okay, another body oil that I'm obsessed with is the L'Occitane, what is it really called? Supple Skin Oil, it's an almond oil. I'm just, I, I love it so much. It's so luxurious, it's so hydrating. It really smooths out bumps. It's just so perfect. Okay, another tried and true favorite that I restocked in the Sephora sale, the Peter Thomas Roth eye patches. These are the Hyaluronic Hydrogel eye patches. And of all their, their eye masks, I always liked this one the most because it felt like it had the most product on it. Like I tried the cucumber ones and they were almost dry. And I never had that problem with these, so I keep restocking them. But I will say the ones I just got are kind of dry. So I'm starting to have a theory that sometimes these leak because I had it upside down to try to hydrate it more and some of the serum came out. So I don't know if these kind of leak in shipping and that's why sometimes when I buy them, they're a little bit dry, but that was a huge bummer. I'll still keep restocking it until I find something better though because I do love those. This is a little CC cushion. It's by Lancome. It's in the pinky peach shade, which in retrospect was not the right shade for me because I'm already very pink on my own and I need something that's more green to get like color correct for that. But I really liked this little cushion. It has, um, it's all used up and dried out now, but that's basically the color it was. And you can just kind of spot treat and like color correct with it. So <clears throat> I don't know, I liked it. It comes in different colors. So I might get this in the green and see how that works. Okay, this eye cream is the best. It's the Kiehl's Creamy Avocado. Can you see it? I really love this eye cream, but if you have seen my other videos, you know I'm on like kind of a personal mission to get rid of things in tubs. Like I'm so sick of reaching my finger in and getting it under my fingernail and then like putting germs in the tub. I just don't like the whole situation. So I switched to their Kiehl's, what is it called? It's like Midnight Recovery Eye Cream, which comes in a tube. And I have to say I'm really missing this one. So <laughs> I might have to go off of my tub ban because I felt like my eyes don't look the same. Like they're kind of um, not as perky as they were when I was using that. Here's another eye, no, this is not an eye cream. This is just a small face cream that I got with my points. It's the Rose Deep Hydration from Fresh. This is a really nice cream. It smells amazing. Obviously the pink packaging is like to die for. I love everything from Fresh, but I'm not going to pay for the full price of that. I just don't think it's quite worth it. Okay. Do I have more than one of these? No, this is another Glossier product that I tear through so fast. I need to place an order for like a few at a time. There's it's the super pure serum and it has niacinamide and zinc and it calms breakouts and redness. OMG, it like it really does what it says. I got the pack of all three Glossier serums and this is the only one I've repurchased. I think this was like my third one. I'm so sad that it's out. Maybe I can get one more drop, <laughs> but I, I don't know. I was having a lot of breakouts. I mentioned before I switched my birth control and I did not factor in how that would like wreak havoc on my face. So that stuff really saved me when I was going through a lot of breakouts. And actually since I quit, I did get a breakout. So I don't know, maybe I, maybe I need to really stock up on this. I know zinc. I mean, these ingredients are supposed to be amazing for breakouts. So I figured it would help and it really did. Okay, this is random. This is not my empty. This is my husband's empty. Do you guys remember this cologne curve? Oh, it's so good. It like gives me tingles. It smells so good. Mm, this was like the it cologne for guys when I was in probably high school. Yeah. 
and I just remember like daydreaming about having a boyfriend that would wear this. So when I started dating my husband, he didn't really have a cologne that he wore and he was like, what kind of cologne would you want me to get? And I just like blurted out curve and this was what, nine years ago? I just blurted out like my high school dream cologne oh, and to this day he still wears it and I love it so much. And I was talking to you guys on Instagram like asking, do you guys love this too or am I just the only person that makes their man wear cologne from the 2000s? I don't know, it smells amazing. I love it. So lucky for me, he doesn't really care. He'll wear whatever I ask. <laughs> um, okay, this is another evening cream. This is the Origins Nitamins, which I just thought that name was so cute. I went through a couple tubs of this. It smells like the most delicious. Mmm, it smells like orange candy. And I love that it has vitamins. Sometimes I just feel like my skin goes through a lot because we all know I'm addicted to trying new skincare and makeup and whatever masks um so sometimes i feel like i just need to recharge the vitamins in my skin and that's why i originally picked this up and it did work really well for me but i want something like a little more heavy duty hydrating like this is oil free my skin does really well with oil actually so i've been switching to a like a more hardcore moisturizer uh okay here's another eye cream that i ran out of and another one that's in a tub so i'm boycotting it but i also think they might have discontinued it because i couldn't find it at sephora anyway but it's the Ula and Rixen Total Truth Eye Cream. It has SPF. That's why I always liked it. You guys probably heard me talk about it before. I went through several tubes of it, tubs of it. Um, but now I've switched to one that's in a tube. So we'll see. I don't think I'm missing it too much, but it was a good eye cream. It was good to me for a few years. Um, all right, what else is in here? I've got some makeup stuff drifting around the bottom of this. This was an Anastasia Brow Wiz pencil in medium brown finally got to the point where I could no longer twist it up. I will say one thing, this one didn't break. In my history of using Brow Wiz, which is a long history, I feel like all of us <laughs> have had a love, mostly love relationship with this. Anyway, I almost always wind up breaking it. Like I'll lose the cap and then this will break off and it's like a whole thing. And I've said before, my main complaint about this is just that the two ends are identical. And I don't know why that bothers me, but I don't like getting the brush when I'm trying to get the pencil. So that's why I first switched away from this and I went back to it just to kind of see, you know, like rekindle the old romance and it didn't take. So I'm sticking with my favorite benefit brow pencils. Anastasia and I are no more, but okay. Here's another product I absolutely love when I'm doing makeup. It's the Ultra Lip Booster by Makeup Forever. It is so hydrating and juicy and like, I do feel like it kind of plumps up my lips for the mere fact that it just like, it's so hydrating. Um, and I love putting it on before I put on lipstick. Lipstick is drying and I just feel like it kind of charges up my lips with moisture to get me through the day. This is the concealer I've been using for a while. The Tarte Shape Tape, you know, we all love it. It's in light neutral. I tried to scrape it all out. See, this is what, this is what's wrong with me. Like I kind of want to keep trying to use this and get more out of it. Cause it seems like there might be more in there. I don't know. I already restocked it, but I just, what can I say? I hate wasting stuff. All right, this is my favorite eyeliner. This one's from MAC. It's the Graf, Graf Black Technicol. And it's a twist up eyeliner. And it's the only thing that works on my waterline and doesn't, I don't know. I guess it's really waterproof because the waterline is well named. And I just love this. It's so, um, perfect for staying in place all day. I specifically just use it on my lower waterline. Obviously I restocked it right away. Another thing that goes only on my lower, these are my lower lash mascara. It's by Clinique. This one's really, really old. It's like all rubbed off. I can't remember what it's called. Just bottom lash mascara. And it comes in this cute tube and it has this really cute, tiny little baby wand. And it's so good for getting into those like tiny, smaller lashes. And then also it never transfers. I never had the problem of it like transferring onto my cheeks. So I just, I love this stuff. It's kind of ridiculous to have so many different kinds of mascara that my lower lashes have their own, but whatever. <laughs> uh, this was a Dior lip maximizer with collagen, but it was a lip gloss, a really pink, really pretty like pinky mauve kind of shade. What's it called? Um, 006. And I had this forever. It takes me a really long time to go through lip products, except for the thing I'm gonna talk about next, which I'm sure you already know what I mean if you've seen my videos. But this is either 
totally out or just like a little bit expired because I've had it so long. So I decided it was time to let it go. But as you can see, it's a really pretty shimmer, just a hint of color. And I don't feel like it necessarily did any plumping, but you know, it can't hurt. But this is the lip product I always go through so much. I have two in here. There's probably more empties of this floating around my life somewhere, but I always kind of start scraping them out. And if you saw my last empties, I'll link it below. I had a quick tutorial on how I will now transfer the product that's left in these into these cute little tiny little tubs I got. Um, which yes, it sucks that it's a tub, but this stuff is too good to waste. So I use my spatula, I scoop it out. Check out that other video if you're interested in just how crazy I can get with my agave bite, bite balm, um, cause I just love it so much. All right, here's another spray. This one also got restocked during the Sephora sale. It's the Dennis Gross C Plus Collagen. I can't even like model it for you. Not that you can see it, but it's totally empty. And I just love that it has such powerful skincare in it. Like usually when I miss my face throughout the day, I'm just looking for hydration, but that one, this like really boosts you up with antioxidants and collagen and good stuff. Okay, so my last empty, and this was a very beloved product for me. Sick a pair, sorry, it's kind of gross. It's obviously been through the ringer. But this is a color correcting moisturizer. It has SPF 30 in it. So I was using this every single morning. I cleaned it out and it's just a really good moisturizer and it's a really good color corrector for the redness that I have. But it's in a tub and so help me, I just couldn't stand it anymore. <laughs> so I'm not replacing this. What I got instead is the Dr. Jart Camo Drops. And it's like a green serum that you put on moisturizer and then you put the serum on top and it just neutralizes the color and it works well, but not as well as this. So we'll see which one I restock when that one's out. But for now, rest in peace, little tiger grass moisturizer. I'm done with you for now. So I'm done with all of these products. I'm going to wash them out and recycle them and move on with my skincare obsessed life. <laughs> But that's it for empties. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy these as much as I do. Please hit subscribe and stick around. We've got a lot of good beauty videos coming up. Um, I've gotten a lot of requests along the lines of skincare and makeup too. So I'm gonna try and get to all of those. And that's it for now. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much.